you. The latest now on the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Here are three things that you need to know this morning. Russian troops continue to move on the capital city of Kiev. Street to street fighting is reported on the outskirts of that city. Ukraine's military reported shooting down a Russian transport plane carrying paratroopers just south of the capital. Meanwhile, in New York City, Russia blocked a United Nations Security Council resolution condemning the attack on Ukraine using its veto power. The vote was 11 to 1 in favor of that resolution. Thousands of Ukrainians are fleeing and fighting the fleeing the fighting all around that country. They are driving, taking buses and even walking to foreign borders to seek sanctuary. And the capital faced the most intense and sustained aerial bombardment that the city has seen since the invasion began, as it is on the verge of an all-out assault. Tanks have been entering the city, and horrific cell phone footage shows a tank crushing a car. The driver miraculously survived. With the Ukrainian military unable to stop Russian forces, the government has called on men between 18 and 60 to stay in the country and fight. Ukrainians all over the country are hoping and praying for their loved ones' safety as the Russian invasion continues with no end in sight. Channel 3 Waterbury Bureau Chief Dennis Valera is live in our newsroom. And Dennis, that includes some students who are here in the States. Yes, Caitlin, and as you can imagine, it's all they've been thinking about, watching the reports, talking with family and friends back home. Some worry there won't even be a home to go back to. Westlake University sophomore Julia Kolchitska is one of those students. While initially she wanted to go home, she realized she could help raise some awareness here. Yesterday, she helped translate for a panel speaking with students in Ukraine. Those students described the destruction they've been seeing, also asking for support and stronger sanctions against Russia. Julia hopes to get her family, all Ukrainians, the help they need. I just realized that I'm panicking more than my parents and than my, than my small sister. They just, they live in all uncertainty and it's probably the self-defense mechanism going on. Now this Wesleyan University panel, it was actually the first of three already planned discussions on Russian misinformation. Yukon's Ukrainian Student Association also is planning protests and other ways to show support. Meanwhile, a rally for Ukraine is happening today at 1 p.m. at the state capitol. Live in the newsroom, Dennis Valera, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.